Welcome to The Shooting Show. This week, we follow Pigeon Supremo, Jeff Garrard, on the last night of the Rue shooting in February, down in Essex. Plus, we bring you all the latest news from the shooting world. It's becoming like tradition now. Uh, first Saturday in February on, on the estate is we always go out after a few pigeons. The first time we can really have a go at the pigeons. Uh, we've got a few here this year, not, not overrun with them, but uh, because of the shooting season, uh, there's not too much uh, pigeon shooting goes on on the rape. So this is the first chance we had to actually get them. Uh, all these pigeons that are going to be coming in this wood tonight are going to have been feeding on the rape. Um, but, like I said, traditional, first Saturday in, in February, wind drops, sun comes out, pigeons are going to be up there 90 miles and uh, high. So, there's no set pattern tonight, so uh, we're probably going to move about two or three places until we find the last sort of good spot just before dark, you know, for that half an hour. Um, so, we'll just, just wander into the wood, we'll go where I think we'll start, see what happens, then we'll move on if it needs be. Uh, these are good, 32 grams, uh, especially on a night like tonight. Um, forecast was for this big, huge gale to start ripping through here, uh, coming in this afternoon, but it's like a mill pond out there. Um, so things are gonna be fairly high tonight until the, until the last knock-ins. So uh, with 32 grams, just give you that little extra punch to get up there uh, you know, early on in the evening. So that's what we'll be shooting. Fens, digital ear defenders. The one thing I do like about these, uh, one is obviously they're protecting the hearing, something I wish I'd, I'd got on to 25 years ago, um, but they are really good. But two, the main thing for me um, is I've used all sorts of hearing protection over the years. Um, you know, the ones that goes over me, always found them clumsy, you know, and if you're trying to shoot a bird quick, a pigeon, whatever it might be, you clang the ear defense, these ones sit flush in your ear. You don't know you've got them on. I can have a conversation with anyone I want. Uh, uh, not saying they're comfortable all day, um, all doing the shoot. So I really highly recommend them. George, come on. First one of the night, that can't be bad. I always, I always like to try and get the first one. First one to shoot at, might be the last one, but you never know. Right, and equipment. So I've got the Meraki uh, three shot auto out tonight. Uh, three quarter choking, shooting Ely Pigeon HV, uh, fiber wad cartridge, 32 gram. Uh, Uh, we picked a spot next to a load of uh, logs and they were high, they were very high. Uh, 
Um, I did manage to shoot quite a few um, while we stood there um, using the, the EDH V32 grams, which I say have to say dealt with them very, very comfortable really. Um, really did kill some good pigeons early on. We've been here probably 20 minutes now, maybe maybe half hour. Got a dozen pigeons here, which and they've all been absolutely cracking shot. Cracking shots, but there's a bit of a line just developing through there, just through the middle of the fir trees, and they just look to be a little bit lower there. So I'm just keeping an eye because I can imagine in about two or three minutes I'm probably going to be moving over there um, to get a little bit, get them a little bit lower. I then moved halfway through the evening. I moved uh, to what I thought would be a better spot, and I have to say, it wasn't. It was a bit of a bit of a bad move. Um, the shooting went off the boil, and um, I moved three or four times to try and get into the right place. Never could quite get into the right place, and I ended up about 60 metres away from the original place that I first started. Once I got there got the shooting back on track and uh, we finished up with a little flurry at the end here.
Um, I picked this 31 in the truck. Um, I'm sure that I can pick up a couple more in the morning when I come around on my rounds. Um, but I don't want to go looking for them now, unfortunately. It's getting dark. I don't want to go on looking for them in the woods, you know, disturbing everything else. So I'll wait till the morning, pick them up in the morning. And uh, we're just off now. It's uh, it's 21 minutes past five. Ideal time to finish, finish the night. Um, I'm happy. Uh, with the bag what I've got I'm happy with the, with the way the cartridges and the guns performed apart from the little spell in the middle there which I'm not too happy about but that's just how it goes um, so all in all um, a good evening Jeff there, making his mark at the pigeons in less than ideal conditions. And now, the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. There's more on shooting organisations' plans to phase out lead shot for live quarry within five years. Basque has produced a guide to using non-lead shot, including how to buy the right cartridges for your gun. You can read it at basque.org.uk slash lead. Meanwhile, the Food Standards Agency has announced that its top food safety concern is chemicals from the environment such as lead in food. Basque's Colin Shedden said the evidence had been there for many years and we should embrace change now or be exposed to restrictive legislation within a much shorter timescale. Let us know what you think about the move in the comments. Get ready for Chandigarh 2022. It's been confirmed that shooting and archery events will take place for the next Commonwealth Games, except they'll be in India, not Birmingham, six months before the main event. This is the compromise agreed after India threatened to boycott the entire Games over the lack of shooting events. At least these events will still count towards the overall medal total. How good is your firearms licensing unit? You can find out in the latest licensing league table published by Basque. Overall, certificate grants are getting faster. It takes an average of 61 days to process a new FAC and 59 days for a shotgun certificate. The best performing forces were Cleveland, Essex and Lincolnshire, while the slowest were West Midlands Police, Greater Manchester Police and Avon and Somerset. With conferences and sporting events being postponed across the world, it seems that even the shooting industry was not immune to the threat of coronavirus. EWA, Europe's largest shooting trade show, was due to take place over the weekend, however, organisers decided to reschedule the event for September. New dates have now been confirmed, with the show set to return to the Nuremberg Messe from the 3rd to the 6th of September 2020. And finally, do you fancy winning a hunting semi-auto shotgun courtesy of Browning? All you need to do is take part in their research survey. It takes just 10 minutes of your time for a chance to win. That sounds like a good deal to us. Follow the link in the description box to take part. That was the Shooting Show News. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.